What's up survivalist Jason here. Today I got a quick video for you today and it's about using hacksaw blades instead of the actual steel for flint and steel kits. Now I was at Harbor Freight and I was just looking around just seeing what type of stuff I could use as usual and I came across these hacksaw blades and I started thinking why not just use the hacksaw blades just as a little scraper for the ferro rods. So I got something like that and just use that and have a small little piece to keep in your kit. But I was looking at the different packs. They had two different kinds. And I noticed one of them says high carbon steel. And it got me to thinking, since it's high carbon steel, would that mean I could get a good spark off of it? I realized they're a little bit small and might not get a good enough spark from it. But I went ahead and got the purchase of one of these. And there's about 50 of uh, one foot long hacksaw blades and I know that high carbon steel it is easy to break if you bend it in the right place and look at that so this means you can break it and get good small little pieces for a little fire kit or anything like that or just use it as a scraper to put some fat wood little Maya dust or anything like that into your kit but also that means if you carry a small little piece of metal that's high carbon steel with you at all times for how small that is, how, how small you can actually bring it, you actually make a spark, even if you don't have a ferro rod. So I have an assortment of little rocks and little hacksaw blade sizes, and I think I like, let's see, where is it, kind of like the about almost an inch and a half size but probably this one is like the longest one I thought I'd like to do so I have some chert right here so I'm gonna go ahead and try it right here and show you you can see the sparks flying off of that and it's pretty good sparks so uh, here's a little video uh, at night so you can see the sparks a little better all right I got some quartz Right here, really sharp quartz. My chert, my flint. So I'm gonna show you them in the dark. So this one is the quartz, the really sharp quartz. And that is a lot of sparks right there. Now my chert. Not as much because it's not as sharp. Now the flint. Try to find a good angle. There we go. That all matters of how sharp. Now, like here's one of my other chirp pieces that I like to use. So, what I'm going to do is actually test this and see if it's good enough spark to spark up some char cloth. So, I got some char cloth pieces right here, and I'm just going to use a piece of this right here, put it on. I think that almost chirp or Quartz kind of sparks it a little bit better. So let's see if I can test this one. This one's chert. Let's see if it's a strong enough spark to get this chocolate going. And then I'm going to put in some juniper bark. I see the sparks going onto it. Let's try another piece. And you gotta remember to use the flat side instead of the tooth side. Because you won't really get a good spark and just destroy the rock. Hmm. 
There you go. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm gonna put this in here. Let's see if it works. This is some old juniper bark anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The thing with truck cloth, you don't have to speed up so much because it's just always there, but charred punk wood could help a little bit better. But I don't have any charred punk wood to try this, but if anybody does, let's see if it actually works on this. There you go. There's your fire. So you can see right there, the hacksaw blade does work. And so I do kind of recommend getting some of these for yourself if you decide to. And you can put it pretty much anywhere and break as small as you like. Put them in your little fire kit, Altoids kit, even like a round little tin, which is what I usually do. I have a whole bunch of just round little tins. And just carry some chalk cloth with you. I don't know if the, oh, I've, I've been trying it before and it isn't strong enough of a spark to put like any kind of bigger tender like uh, juniper bark or anything like that. But with char cloth, it starts off really small of a spark and you could get it to grow as much as that's why I like the char cloth better with this type of method. But I don't know if it actually does charred punk wood or not. So I hope you found a good information about this. And I was really happy to find out about these. And it just gives me a little backup to using instead of just a ferro rod. I could just use this if I find any chert and just save my ferro rod. And this is a really nice little piece to keep in a kit. And I hope you like this video. And I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.